Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com and this is the brand new Pantech Impact for AT&T. It's a messaging phone. Oh, they sent me the pink one! <laughs> awesome! It's a messaging phone with this cool little hidden display on the front. It lights up. You can see kind of the outlines of the, uh, of the buttons there. I was holding it into the light, not into the camera, because clearly... I, uh, maybe the light will wake me up. Hello? Uh, it's got the, the keypad on the front, the hidden hidden lights that light up a little screen, and then you open it up, and it's got a full QWERTY on the inside. Kind of, you know, uh, LG Voyager, LG Envy style. Pantech uh, has made a bunch of phones with the hidden keyboards, the Helio Ocean well, way back when, and the Matrix series on AT&T. And now they've got the, uh, the Impact. Here's the pink one. I think it comes in other colors. This is supposed to be an unboxing, so I'm going to put it back in the box. You know, they sent me these things, and this one was already open, so I'm going to put it back in the box. And uh, we'll start it. We'll start over unboxing style, and I'll take the uh, band-aid off my finger before I do it, because you know you want to look nice for the camera. Let's get out of the box. Let's check it out. All right. So here's the impact. Thanks to the folks at Pantech for loaning us this one. Uh, available now on AT&T, ninety-nine dollars after rebate uh, on contract. Of course, if you shop around, you might be able to find it cheaper. So it's available in bright blue and soft pink, and they sent me the soft pink because they know that you know. Uh, I don't know. I was going to make a joke about how macho I am or how macho I'm not, and I'll just stop there. <laughs> I'm in the box. You get the phone, you get the charger, and uh, you get your manuals and stuff, and that's about it. User guide, all that stuff. So uh, this is the latest in what AT&T calls their quick messaging lineup, and... Um, you don't have to have the full-on smartphone data plan, you know, the iPhone data plan or the uh, data plan you would get on a Windows mobile device or something. Here, we'll put a SIM card in. But uh, you can, you know, you can get the, uh, the quick messaging phones like the Impact and get a lesser cost plan just for messaging or for web or what have you. So, you know, it's kind of an interesting uh, segment of the market with the smartphones getting cheaper and cheaper in terms of price out the door but still expensive in terms of the price of, you know, the monthly service. But then you've got these messaging phones that can do, you know, so much stuff now. Um, you know, interesting to see, you know, where the where people go in terms of, you know, being willing to pay monthly for all that stuff or, uh, you know, all the stuff on a full-on smartphone or wanting, you know, to take advantage of these messaging phones that do more and more. So here you go. Uh, on the outside, you've got touch-sensitive controls and a little haptic feedback when you press... Uh, it looks like it's a grayscale screen, so we can go through and hear all your options, different things you can do. Go back. Address book, messaging, recent calls, music. So you can get to your music player from here as well. Don't think there's anything in there. Uh, so you can do a lot of stuff without opening the phone up. Obviously, you can make your phone calls, that kind of thing. And then uh, you open the device up. <clears throat> my voice is cracking. Open the device up. I think it's the pink. The pink is influencing my uh, my macho voice, making it even more macho. And you've got your full color display, uh, shortcuts menu, you know, all that stuff. You can go back. Your full menu, the graphical menu, uh, GPS on the phone, 3G data speed. You can see I've got the 3G indicator up there. Uh, AT&T's new web browser, so you've got a full HTML web browser, supposedly. Let's fire it up and see. Full QWERTY keyboard here, uh, grid style, four row. You've got these two blank buttons in the corners. I always think it's too bad when you have the blank buttons. These at least, you know, they've got the little raised thing to kind of protect the screen from smushing against the keys when you shut it, but they could have put those on the outside and used those buttons. But whatever, there's plenty of buttons, that for, that's for sure. You've got uh, a camera button, two short, two soft key buttons, menu button in the middle, call and cancel buttons, your full QWERTY, your uh, D-pad over here on the side, got some shortcut keys on the QWERTY as well. So there's plenty going on. Um, we will go to Phone Dog, and uh, this looks much like the browser that was on the Flight, the Samsung Flight, which I reviewed last week. A uh, new AT&T full HTML browser, which is a nice change of pace. Uh, quick tour around the phone. On the back, you've got your 2 megapixel camera. On the top, you've got your proprietary uh, charging and accessory jack. So if you want to use headphones, you can go stereo Bluetooth, or you have to get the proprietary ones. can't use standard 3.5mm, which is too bad. 
on the right spine of the phone, hold button, and then a rocker switch for volume. Uh, on the left spine, nothing going on. And on the bottom of the phone, uh, micro SD card slot located in the uh, in the top panel of the phone, which is kind of interesting. No card installed. So here's Phone Dog, and uh, oh, there's Aaron. What's up, dude? Uh, looks like this is in mobile view. So let's go see if we can find non-mobile view. We'll reload. You know, for just an unboxing, I've done it again. I can't help myself. I unbox these phones, and I immediately want to see, you know, what they do, how they work. But we'll get a we'll get a full review for sure. That's not bad for a, uh, you know, for a dumb phone web browser, because our homepage is fairly complicated in terms of layout and stuff, and that looks pretty good. Uh, can I zoom out? Yes, I can use that button to zoom out. And then you've got a little mini map overlay thing. You know, just a couple of years ago, this was totally state of the art a year or two ago on smartphones. And now for a feature phone, that's really pretty, you know, pretty not bad, we'll say. <laughs> and I can push you to the background. It's a little multitasking there as well. Uh, let's go to the messaging menu. And so you can go conversation style and create a message. Let's try the keyboard out. A little bit of a double click happening on the space bar, which often happens on these double wide space bars. Like they have either two sensors or one in the middle, and then it kind of rocks back and forth. Sometimes you feel that weird double click, but I think you'll probably get used to that. Pretty good chiclet style, you know, for, for a, a keyboard that's relatively flat. You know, they've got a little bit of separation with these angles on the bottoms of the keys. The keys are big enough, especially these ones on the side are huge. But the keys are big enough, you know, that I don't have a problem with my thumb smashing into each other. And, uh, you know, the action, the chiclet action is, is you know, pretty decent, at least on first when I typed, you know, one sentence. But uh, first impression is pretty good. And, you know, I can see myself in the mirror with the pink, so that's always helpful. There I am right there. What's up? How you doing? So there you go. It's a first look at the... Uh, I don't have anybody in my met, in my uh, contacts list here, but you know you can search to send to recipients, or I can just add a new one, right? See, so easy. It's a first look at the Pantec Impact for HT and T, for HT and T, for AT and T. Uh, do some messaging from the outside as well. T9 style, right? No, it's not T9 style. Well, maybe there are options. We'll have to check it out. We'll have to do a full review. See, we need a full review. First look, unboxing, Pantec Impact, AT&T. It's a 3G quick messaging phone. External display, touch-sensitive controls. Open it up, full QWERTY. You know, NV style, right? Right. Much, much more on the Impact. Perhaps a full review is in order. On PhoneDog.com and all the other new phones, AT&T, Pantec, all the phones, tons of them coming out for the holiday season and beyond. We got you covered. Check it out, phonedog.com. Till next time, I'm Noah. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see if I can find an outfit to match this pink phone. We'll see you later.